Hi guys, we're back at Smash Fishing. We're going out today to Guernsey's biggest castle, Castle Cornet. It's got a lot of history there. So we'll go for a little mooch around and we'll cook up some seafood later. So stay tuned. It's Smash Fishing, baby. Woo! We have arrived. This is called Castle Cornet. It's one hell of a structure, that's for sure. We just pop inside, we're going to have a little mooch around. Gives you a good idea of how big this place is. Royal Guernsey Light Infantry Regimental Museum. We've got a lot to look at today. Noonday gun's gonna go off soon, guys. You can see, loaded up the cannons. <laughs> That's what you call a bang. Anyone know what these were used for? Interesting place. I had to think that prisoners would have walked down here. <laughs> Originally the site of the first 13th century castle gatehouse, the building was later extensively altered to use as St. Peter Port Prison. Look at that for a view. You can see, guarded the harbour. Straight out to sea. The old attire by the looks of it. Henry Pinkston Davy, Royal Guernsey Light Infantry. William John Le Pedvin. Awesome. 1897. So cool to come back and just look at all this stuff. British uniforms and equipment. Quite stylish back in the day, you gotta give them it. <laughs> Look at that for the business end. That looks amazing. Rifle grenades. Service rifle. What is that beast? British weapons machine gun. This is amazing. I like how they've cut the grenade open so you can see all the uh, mechanisms inside. Full fuse. Ch 
check that out. Enemy weapons and equipment. And the little pea shooter. <laughs> this is awesome. What a place. Part of the tank. RGLI. Meanwhile, through England and the colonies, men rushed to join the fight. By the end of the 1950, uh, end of 1915, over 2.6 million men had. Volunteered to service in Lord Kitchener's new army. Wow. The outbreak of the war. Look at the designs on the helmets. That's insane. The blacksmiths back then were absolutely amazing. Get down, boys. <laughs> Get a little close up of the cannons here. Look at that. Perfect condition. This just shows you what is protecting. This is Hablet Bay. Awesome. The views from here are second to none. They're amazing. Check that out. I haven't been here in so long. It's lovely to come here and catch up and have a look around. There's so much more stuff, you know. I'm only filming a tiny amount of this. So anyone that's in Guernsey or comes over to Guernsey, I highly recommend you come around here. Look at that view. Amazing. South Battery. We shall have a look. I don't think I've ever been up this bit. Look at that for a view. That's something else. Got Guernsey Lighthouse there. See all the lads fishing, trying to catch some mackerel. <laughs> Bet this thing shot at a few ships in its time. It's a monster. Never been to this part before. Such a beautiful place to live, it really is. If you guys know much about the castle, leave it in the comments. I'm always up for learning new things. I'm just going around reading the plaques at the moment. I know a little bit, but not a huge amount. Look at the size of that gun. Reverse and carriage. 24 pounder. Oh my god. This fires out some serious weight. It's on a massive swivel as well. So anywhere the guns are, uh, anywhere the ships are, swivel it round and give them a good old kick up the backside. <laughs> Such an eyesore just walking around. Think of the manpower just to build a wall like that. Such a beautiful place. 
it always impresses me. I used to be a builder. I know the work that goes into building walls like that. And that's, that's mental. Especially back then when they didn't have a lot of trucks and stuff. Musket steps. Nice. So this is where they would all fire with their muskets. It's crazy to think, eh? People were shooting into this bay. Bam, 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 bam. Great place to fish down here as well. Gotta be dangerous. Gotta be careful of that tide though. The governor's garden. Dating to 1734. Wow. Beds and pass. This was the governor's garden. Look how pretty that is. So well organized. We are finally at the top of the castle. Look at that for a view, guys. Does anyone know the name of these cannons? Like what sort of make are they? I, I don't know much when it comes to cannons and stuff like that. I'm sure a lot of you guys will know. Always be interested to know. Will Guernsey Militia Regimental Museum. First World War. Some bayonets there. Grenades, I think. <laughs> Militia bands. Gilt silver vase. Okay. Uniform and weapons. The, the detail in those swords, they probably won't show up on the camera, but the engravings all the way down the swords, it's unreal. You gotta admire the craftsmanship of the, the weapons. Flintlock musket. That's bloody. Look at the size of it. It's massive. That's crazy. 1750, 1780. Flintlock pistols. <laughs> What we're going to do now guys, I'm going to head to the fish shop and grab some seafood. We'll do a nice little cook up. I'm getting hungry now, so why not? <laughs> but like I said, if anyone's ever in Guernsey or is in Guernsey now, I highly recommend coming here. I think it's £10 entry. You could spend hours walking around this place. It's absolutely amazing. I only showed a very small portion. So, yeah, always worth it. Surf and turf Guernsey, baby. <laughs> Loads of fresh stuff in here. See what they got and then we'll see what we're going to be cooking.
lovely oysters. Shout out to the subscriber that gave me these. Just come into the shop and they've uh, they give us two ten pound vouchers. So yeah, big shout out to whoever sent them. You're an absolute ledge. From Robert, you're a, you're an absolute diamond. Thinking I might get some prawns and some scallops today. We might get the barbie on the go. Got some lovely fish in here. Look at the size of that. What a beast. You got some nice fresh cod here. It's a bit of a rarity for here. Loads of pollock fillets, bass, salmon. The size of that salmon fillet's massive. I'm thinking we're gonna get some prawns and some scallops. We'll get some barbecue skewers while we're at it. Yum. Uh, could I get 10 scallops and then 10 of these as and well? 10 of these, mate, yep. Sound. Big shout out to that subscriber. Big shout out to Surf and Turf as well. Got me a good deal on this. Happy days. My favourite fish store in Guernsey by far. They always look after you, really friendly people as well. Gonna go get the cooker now, guys. I think I'm gonna do a nice little barbecue today. It's such a lovely day. And what I'll do is find a nice sheltered spot down the beach and we'll go cook this up. So there you go, guys. I'm at my mum's house now. And what we're gonna do is set the barbecue up. We're gonna make some lovely skewers, which at Surf and Turf, they gave me these skewers for free, so big shout out to them. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take half of this out and uh, give it to Sam for his tea, and then I'm gonna eat half for me. There we go. We got five skewers all together. You can see, prawn scallop, prawn scallop. Yum. Let's get that barbie on the go. And what I'm going to do is melt down some butter with some garlic. And I'm just going to baste these as they're on the on the barbecue. It's going to taste absolutely delicious. We have fire! Our barbecue is nice and ready now guys. Nice white coals on there. I had to take some off because I didn't realise how much was actually in this bag. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the oysters on first. Straight on the barbie and they're going to steam in their own juices. And once they start opening We'll get our skewers on. I've got some garlic butter already melted up. I put some chili flakes in, some garlic powder, and we'll be basing these as they cook. Smelling absolutely delicious. It's not going to take long for the oysters to start opening up. What they would do is just steam from the inside out, inside the shell. Absolutely be amazing. I won't cook these for very long. Literally just a couple of turns, couple of bases with our nice sauce, and they're ready to go. Gonna be taking this off in a minute, guys. These are looking lovely now. Look at that. All that butter's been crisped on there. You can smell the fresh garlic clove. 
all the oysters are nicely opened and I've been dipping them with the uh, with the sauce as well. So there you have it guys, the ultimate lunch right there, fresh scallops and prawn kebabs with some nice oysters. Been looking forward to this, haven't eaten today. I'm going to go for the small oyster first, dip it in that sauce. Mm. You can't, I haven't had oysters in a little while now, they are absolutely delicious. You got the fresh prawns, you can see, slightly toasted on the side. Mm. I'm definitely going to do a bit of smoking on the barbecue this year, especially when the mackerel come in a bit more. Do a lot more of that. Enough of the scallops, look at that. Just falls apart. That's exactly what you want with scallops. Don't want to cook them too long because they will go a bit tough. Mm. What I did is I kept two skewers for myself and I left the other three for uh, Sam and my sister and uh, they'll enjoy those later with a few oysters because this is enough for my lunch. This is absolutely amazing. You can see how nice and orange that, that row is. Shows a nice healthy clam. <sighs> Lovely oyster. These are relatively cheap as well. It's about 90p or oyster I think or maybe a bit cheaper. And they are absolutely delicious. A lot of people like them raw. I prefer them cooked, personally. But each your own. Mm. Awesome. I'm well glad I did this. A lot of subscribers were asking for a vlog. So I thought I'd do one today. Since it was a lovely day, it's absolutely boiling as well. Mm. So I won't leave any longer, guys. I'm going to finish off my skewers now. If you like the video make sure to hit the like button and subscribe if you want any merch the links in the description there's gonna be plenty more to come it's smash fishing baby Woo.